All right, let's look at a more complex exponential equation where there are more than one base. So for example, let's say we want to solve uh, 3 to the 3x plus 1 equals, um, how about 4 to the 2x. And so the problem here is we have an exponential in base 3 and an exponential in base 4. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to solve this. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it uh, so you can see the differences between both. The idea is we need to undo one of the bases. I can't undo a base 3 and a base 4 at the same time. So the first way we're going to do it is we're going to undo, uh, let's say, base the base uh, 4. And the way to undo a base of 4 is by using log base 4. Okay, so we'll do it that way first. So if I do this, I'm going to do log base 4 of the whole left side equals log base 4 of the whole right side. And so what happens there is the log base 4 and the exponential base 4 cancel. So the right side is pretty simple. You're just left with 2x. Unfortunately, on the left side, a log base 4 doesn't cancel an exponential in base 3. But what we can do is use an, a logarithm law because now I've got a logarithm on the left, I can turn this exponent into multiplication by a coefficient. So that's going to turn into 3x plus 1 times log base 4 of 3. Okay, so on this side we used a log law, and on this side they canceled because the bases were the same. So now we're trying to solve for it says solve, so we're trying to solve for x. So I need all my x's on the same side. The x on the left is sort of buried in these parentheses. So I need to get rid of the parentheses, and I do that by distributing this number, this log. So I distribute it here, and I distribute it there. Okay, so that gives me 3x times log base 4 of 3 plus 1 times log base 4 of 3 is just log base 4 of 3 equals the 2x doesn't change. Now I've got no parentheses but I still have this term with an x and I have this term with an x. I need my x terms on the same side. So I'm going to leave this guy on the left and I want to I want to get rid of the the highlighted portion the 3x log base 4 of 3 on the left so the way to do that because it's added is I'll subtract it from both sides and what that leaves me on the left is just my log base 4 of 3 and on the right these guys aren't like terms so I've got 2x minus this big term 3x log base 4 of 3. So unfortunately I can't combine those but at least my x's, what I'm trying to solve for, are on the same side. And this is the tricky part. This is the hardest part to remember now. Now what you want to do, since you're trying to solve for x, is factor out the common x. Can't emphasize enough, that's what everybody forgets to do. So on the right side I'll pull x out and it's going to leave behind a here minus the 3 times log base 4 of 3 there and I'll just copy the left side okay so now to get X by itself all I have to do is divide because X is being multiplied by all this I just divide by what's in the parentheses so 2 minus 3 times log base 4 of 3, and I have to do that on the other side to keep it balanced. Okay, and so what happens is these guys cancel, and so I've got x equals log base 4 of 3 over 2 minus 3 times log base 4 of 3, and that's my answer. 
Now, if, if I want to approximate this, which lots of textbooks will have you do, round this to a decimal, then you type that into your calculator. And if I did it right, it looks like you get about negative 2.0996. Okay? So if you've got a nice um, multi-line display calculator, you will type that in just like you've got it written here. So you hit your fraction template first, and you type all of this in. Um, if you don't have a nice calculator like that, you'll have to use the change of base formula. And if you do that, you would have to type in natural log of 3 fourths over 2 minus 3 times the natural log of 3 fourths. And you'd have to use some parentheses and things like that. But either way, you should get this answer. Okay? So the first method we used was to undo the, the base of 4. That was this technique. Let's redo the problem. Let me recopy it. So 3 to the 3x plus 1 equals 4 to the 2x. And now we'll solve it the other way, where we undo or cancel base 3. So that would be getting rid of this guy using log base 3. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So to do that, I'll take log base 3 of both sides. So log base 3 of the whole left equals log base 3 of the entire right side. And now the log base 3 and the exponential in base 3 cancel, giving us 3x plus 1. And again, on the other side, log base 3 and exponential in base 4 don't cancel, but I use my logarithm law to turn my exponent into multiplication by a coefficient, giving us 2x times log base 3 of 4. Okay, now this is a little bit easier than last time because there's no parentheses. I don't have to distribute anything. I've got this term with an x and I've got this term with an x. So I need to get my x terms on the same side. So I'll subtract this guy. Or sorry, I did the wrong one. I'll subtract this guy and I'll leave the one on the left. So that's going to give me 1 equals 2x log base 3 of 4, that mess, minus 3x. So now everything with an x is on the same side, so it's that same thing now where x shows up in two places. Factor out the common x. So you can see Techniques are the same. Your answer, all your work's going to look different, but your final answer is going to be the same. So now if I factor x out on the left, that's going to get, leave behind 2 times log base 3 of 4 minus 3. And that equals 1. And last, divide by everything in the parentheses. So you'll get x equals 1 over 2 times log base 3 of 4 minus 3 which, if you put in the calculator, should be the same thing. Negative 2.0996. Okay? So go back and compare both of these. Make sure you understand the similarities and differences. And the, the big thing here is when you've got two different bases, you just pick one to get rid of and then use a logarithm property on the other side. So maybe we can state that undo one base, use log law on other side. Okay? Alright, good luck!